Hi, it's Ardeth, and I'm here today with my card for this week's Muse Challenge, where Sweetie Gupta is our guest muse. She made a beautiful inspiration card, and I focused on her floral theme, her colors, and her gold accents. I chose one of the solid flowers from Catherine Pooler's Wonderful Wildflowers as my focal point. I started with a panel of watercolor cardstock and chose some pretty colors from my Zig Art & Graphic Twin Tip Markers. These markers are water-based and perfect for this technique, which gives a very pretty no-line watercolor look. I placed my stamp on my Mini Misty and I colored directly onto the stamp with the pink marker before spritzing it with water. I closed the door of my Misty and let it sit for a moment so that the color and water could soak into the cardstock. While that was still wet, I lined up the layering stamp and I colored it with the bright yellow marker and stamped it. I wanted the colors to blend and run together a bit, but you could wait until the pink is dry before stamping the yellow and you'd get a different look. I used the same technique with the flower center stamp to give the flower a solid yellow center. To assemble the card, I cut a square from watercolor cardstock and I stamped my sentiment in black VersaFine Claire ink. I cut two narrow stripes of sparkly gold cardstock and I placed them near the bottom of the panel. I cut the strips a bit longer than my panel and I trimmed them with scissors after they were glued down. I die cut the watercolor flower and another die cut out of gold sparkle paper. I glued the gold one directly to the panel and I used foam tape on the watercolored one for some dimension. I offset the flower a bit so that the sparkle shows around the edges. I matted the panel onto a narrow black mat and put the whole thing onto an oyster gray card base. I added gold confetti from Pretty Pink Posh, and here's my card. Links are in the description below and also on my blog. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.